we now have brand new information about Cyberpunk 2077. Even though the game got delayed again, CD Projekt Red is keeping the hype alive and they shared lots of new content about their game in their first episode of Night City Wire. This includes a new trailer, new gameplay and lots of other exciting stuff. So in this video, we're going to cover everything that was revealed in Night City Wire episode 1. Starting with a brand new trailer that was shown at the very beginning of the stream. This trailer was an absolute hype moment for everyone who was watching it live. The devs even said that it was made up of some random moments from the starting phase of the game. So by looking at the trailer and listening to what they said, the prologue of the game will basically introduce us to various factions, characters and locations in the game. Speaking of locations, the trailer revealed a new district in the game which is the Badlands. Visually this place looks very much different from the rest of the game. The devs explained that the Badlands is an area that is located outside of the city walls and is pretty much an uninhabited wasteland. This area is also a very common place to find new faction which is the Nomads. They apparently roam around the Badlands in large convoys made out of old cars and motorcycles. The devs also confirmed that the players can also roam around these lands and interact with endless open world opportunities and also learn about the Nomad faction. We probably can expect this area to be a part of the main story as it might provide the players with a much needed break from the high tech city life. Now about the story, I expect CD Projekt Red is not going to divulge any vital information about it and I also kind of want it to stay that way. But in the trailer we find a small part of the story which could be an actual quest in the game which is to steal a chip that is described to grant immortality in some sort of way. Now the chip is owned by an organization in the game called Arasaka which could probably be the actual villains in the game. By looking at the vehicles they own and the huge cash transactions we see in the video, this organization probably has a lot of power and somehow controls the city business. But we are not going to go into details with the story of the game and would like to find it out while playing the actual game. Before I talk more about the game, there is this one reveal that CD Projekt Red unveiled and believe me, I never saw that coming. So Cyberpunk is collaborating with a studio called Trigger for an anime which is called Cyberpunk Edge Runners. And this is the studio who made Killer Kill which is as what I have heard is an amazing anime. The story of Edge Runners is not connected to that of the game but it takes place in the same city which is the Night City. The plot revolves around a street kid trying to survive in a high tech world with an apocalyptic future. The series will span over 10 episodes and the best part about this is it is coming out on Netflix. So we are going to have all the episodes released together and can binge watch it on the very first day of the release. But the sad thing is it will be coming out on 2022. I think this will be a great success like the Witcher TV series which is also based on a game from the same developers. In this episode we also got to see an in-depth analysis of a new gameplay mechanic which is called Brain Dance. Brain Dancing will allow the players to look through the eyes of countless NPCs and live their memories. It is almost like an alternate reality inside of the game which lets you see, hear or even smell what the character smelled. According to the lore of the game, brain dance was invented as a therapy method. The devs made it clear that this particular mechanic is going to play a huge part throughout the game and will be an important storytelling device to explore the world's history, philosophy and different factions. So that was everything that was showcased in the first episode of Night City Wire and they have just begun to scratch the surface. There's going to be so much more content that we can get a hint of before the game launches in November. CD Projekt Red confirmed there's going to be a new episode in few weeks with new content information and maybe we can expect another unexpected reveal from the team. So are you excited about Cyberpunk 2077 like I am? Share your thoughts about this game in the comments down below and for more videos like this follow GamerConnect.in on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. That was me Decker, see you again next time.